Hi, I'm Jackie Schaefer, ClearBrief's founder and CEO, and I'm going to show you how ClearBrief's Microsoft Word add-in helps you find the relevant facts from the discovery that relate to what you're writing about. And to do that, we're going to use some sample documents from the Cuomo investigation. All right, so to get started here, we're in Word, right? And so at this point in your workflow, you have reviewed all of the sort of facts that you have, right? You've reviewed the discovery, the transcripts, the emails, the text messages, and you know the story that you want to tell that's going to serve your client. And you sit down and, you know, you may write an outline like this in Word. Um, you may be sort of reviewing those factual documents to help you figure out the story and the right way to explain it to the judge or to opposing counsel. So at this point, I have sort of a, a little draft going. I'm going to click the clear brief add in and of course, drag over the clear brief window. And you'll see, I have my matter folders. I've already started a matter folder for this case, Cuomo, March 25th, been working on this one for a while. <laughs> so I, the first thing I'm going to do is go into my manage PDFs button here, click into this. And you can see that I've already spent some time uploading the factual documents, but it's super fast to, to do this. Um, and so I'm going to click here to show you an example. Um, so let's say I want to add another PDF here of Governor Cuomo's deposition transcript. I just drag it in. You can upload, you know, 25 documents at once if you'd like. And as you can see, ClearBrief is instantly OCRing that document and making it text searchable. This is how the AI really can work its magic. And it also helps you because while you're writing, you can select individual words. Um, I know we've all gotten those documents from opposing counsel that are just kind of images. So this is a very fast way to convert them. And then if I wanted to at this step, I can add bait stamps, explaining, you know, this is exhibit A, exhibit B, that kind of thing. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and click analyze my draft. So this is our lavacado <laughs> and the AI is going through and trying to identify citations in my document. I put this one citation in here as a placeholder so that you can see how this works if you already have citations in your document. So the first thing that ClearBrief is asking me is, is this cor the correct document and page number for this citation? Um, it selected a document that actually is a transcript. And so it's pretty cool that, you know, I have um, indicated this is a site to a transcript, but this is not the right document. I'm going to use that new transcript that I uploaded. So I'm going to say wrong. Is this a fact site? Yep. This is a fact site. Clearbrief is asking me what the numbers mean here. Yes. The five is it. Uh, indicating that this is page five of the transcript. That's right. And then I'm just going to select the Cuomo deposition. So right away, ClearBrief has figured out that this is page five. I'm going to say correct. And that's that. So now anytime I have a citation that says TR period and then page number, ClearBrief will know what document to display and what page to show. So that was pretty easy. Now, I want you to see though that I've um, cited to kind of a random page <laughs> of this document. It's just the cover page. Um, for my sentence in here, the governor discussed infidelity and whether she had cheated on her husband. So that's a really key fact in my case. And Clearbrief is helping me by flagging for me with this sort of orange block here. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like this text is very relevant to the governor discussing infidelity and cheating. But Clear Reef's AI is suggesting other places in the facts, the pages of those different discovery documents that do seem relevant. So you see, I just clicked on this citation card here and it's pulling up the exact page that's relevant. So I'm going to actually expand this. We made sure to make Clear Brief helpful for those people like me who <laughs> need a little help reading the fine print. Um, and so this is actually the New York Attorney General's investigation report. 
Um, the governor had several conversations with executive assistant number one about her personal life and her relationships, including calling her and Ms. McGrath mingle mamas, inquiring multiple times about whether she has cheated on her, would cheat on her husband, and asking her to help find him a girlfriend. Well, that is a especially helpful fact for this sentence here that I want to establish. So I'm going to just click the plus button. Boop, it just added a citation to this page into my draft. And it's also a hyperlink so that now as I'm drafting and as I share this document with others, they'll be taken to this page so they know that what I'm saying is accurate. I'm also gonna get rid of my initial sort of placeholder site. Um, I don't need that one anymore. I just clicked the X. I can bring it back if I want, but I don't need that one. So I wanna show you though the, the power of Clearbrief's AI that it can find documents that you wouldn't be able to find by just doing, you know, control F, control F and looking for keywords. AI goes beyond keywords. So this page is from Cuomo's deposition where the uh, questioner is saying, you know, did you know um, who her husband was? Um, and then at the bottom here, it's saying, did she just bring up the subject out of the blue or were you talking about something? So that's like getting to the discussion aspect. I wasn't surprised about divorce because she had made comments about people that she was seeing, etc. So that's pretty interesting. The AI actually is helping us because it understands that seeing other people is a euphemism for infidelity and cheating. So I would not have searched for that. Um, but this is an excellent citation here. I'm just going to go ahead and click this plus button because this is right. You know, what's, what's powerful about this fact is this is, these are the words of former governor Cuomo, um, directly, not the investigation report, right? Which is the attorney general's office sort of summarizing the evidence. These are the witness speaking directly. So clear brief is really helping to tell that story. Um, I also just copied and pasted that language right from the OCR document um, just as a note to myself because this is a good quote that I want might want to highlight you know later during trial or something like that so I'm just going to uh, add this here okay so that was a fun experience when I already had sort of a placeholder citation in there but what if I don't have any idea where a certain fact is in the facts um, Often this might happen where, you know, let's say a colleague adds something to the draft, they're editing and, you know, they're like, find me a source for this. So with Clearbrief, you can just select the text here and then use the add fact site button. And when you click that, it's going through that same analysis where it's looking through all of the uploaded PDFs that you've added to the Clearbrief add-in and it's making suggestions about the phrase, he groped her. So this is very helpful for, let's say, you want to show a pattern of groping. Um, so you would cite to, you know, you want to have as many citations to different aspects of the transcripts showing that this was a pattern. This was something that happened a number of times. So Clearbrief can really help you create that um, impression of, of the pattern by finding everything, you know, out there. Here's a quote in this first document that it pulled up in um, a deposition where have you been told anything about who the woman is? It was alleged that the governor groped her. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus button again. That's a very powerful citation. Uh, the investigation report, this looks like a part of the report summarizing different things that seem like groping. Like the governor had touched executive assistant number one many times, had kissed her forcibly, had put his hand up her shirt. Sounds like groping. So we're gonna click this plus button. So imagine like, for example, that you were doing an HR investigation. This is also something where you'd want to sort of show what the documents are saying about an incident that happened. Again, here's another reference to groping. Um, all right, so I'm going to add another um, citation there, and this is to the, the Cuomo uh, deposition as well. So that's it. I've, I've gone through and I've added in factual support directly from the documents. And at this point, let's say I want to share my draft with someone else on the team, um, with a client, or maybe it's a memo that I wanna share um, with a number of people, I finished it up. So I would go to this button up here, share. 
Uh, and then you just click here, generate courtesy copy link. And enjoy our delightful animation. Um, and go ahead and you'll see this link right here. I'm just going to go ahead and click this. This goes to the Clearbrief website to my secure account. Now I've already signed in, so it's opening this window right away and it's showing me my Word document. Let me move this over here. So this was my Microsoft Word draft and just with one click, it now created this interactive version that allows me to see the source document. So when I'm reading this memo or this you know outline, the summary, I don't lose my place but I can see what the underlying facts say about this. And, and it gives confidence to the reader that, yep, this is an accurate summary of what happened. This is amazing for storytelling in a demand letter, for example, where you wanna show opposing counsel that this is the testimony you're gonna to have to address if this goes to trial. So we need to settle this, right? It's telling the story through the documents, very powerful, very effective. And that's it. And now when I finalize this document, I can now email it through the Clearbrief website and it will be seamless to share it with my readers. And you'll see exactly how to do that in the next Clearbrief video. Thank you so much.